Hey everybody, what's going on? How is everyone? Hello, welcome, welcome to What's For Brunch. Come on in here and let's enjoy some time together. <laughs> what's going on, it's your girl Paulette. And uh, this is What's For Brunch, partner two, of course, the Sunday brunch. Hi, KJ. Hey, Mo. How are you? I'm good. Come on over here on the other side and let's all get on this thing together before we start moving around. So, hi, KJ. Um, How are you? I'm good. You're good? Okay. Come on over here and say hello to the folks. Hi, Otter. Hi, Otter. Hello. Come on, leave some comments. Go ahead and like share the page leave comments let's talk a little while we got a couple things we're going to be talking about today and uh preparing for of course today's what's for brunch what's for brunch this is what we're doing today we are preparing are you ready lily what's for brunch come on help me okay this is a whole high school student who's a part of the band and now you shy uh-uh come on over here Quit it. I, I don't like my kids very much. So so what are we having for brunch today? We're having pork chops smothered with bacon. Pork chops smothered in bacon. We're going to tell you exactly what we did. What and else? We're having cracked grapes. Cracked grapes. Mmm. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. And cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. Yes. Hey sis, how you doing? How you doing? So uh, of course, um, we've prepped a lot of the stuff already and you guys know that. So if you want the recipes, you know exactly where to go. We're gonna be sharing a lot of those over the next couple of days. So that's real cool. But for now, um, as, as K so KJ cut the grass, so he real hot and sweaty and everything. He done cut his little finger and everything. And I flipped out and he was like, I'm fine mother. Everything's fine. So, okay, I am no longer flipping out. But uh, yeah, so that kind of bothered me. So here we go. Here is what is for brunch. First things first, we have already pretty much prepped and prepared everything. So we're not wasting a bunch of time showing you the welcome, blah, 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 all of that. But here's what I want you to do first. First things first, always wash your hands. I ain't eating Mmm. So come on, everybody. Wash your hands. Keep, keep, keep rolling down. We're going to keep rolling down. That's what we're going to do. Down. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it together. Get a bunch of them fingernails. If that's what your thing is. But all jokes aside, let's let's um that that is definitely something that you want to do. Is make sure that you wash your hands. And the reason why I'm washing my hands again is because we have been preparing everything. So once again, hey everybody that's joining us, welcome to What's for Brunch. It's your girl Paulette, host of the Sunday Brunch. You can check me out at itsthesundaybrunch.com. <laughs> to check out different ways that you can follow me and uh, what's going on. We are a part of the KCCR radio family and um, we got some amazing shows that are coming your way and returning. So first things first, what's on the agenda? So we wanted to do something that was easy, that was quick, that anybody could do and still go about their Sunday. And the reason why we're doing it that way is because we have so much that's happening. Many of you who follow what we're doing here in the Brownstone Center is we opened up a store. Mm -hmm. We did. Would you stop that? What are you doing? Wipe your top lip. What are you? You know, I got, I, you know, I got, water, what? I got water in my mustache. He got water in his little bitty mustache. That little fuzz. That's like, boy, bye. Anyway, so, yeah. Anyway, so, anyway, um, yeah. Let's see. Oh, so all kinds of stuff. Oh, my. All right. Well, thank you. So, shout out to the league on Instagram um, who is begging me for pics of today's menu. So, um, yeah, we're going to definitely do that. So, once again, we are preparing what's for brunch. Y'all, I got these new... Um, glass, I don't know what you want to call it, cookware, but um, that's where we put everything in. So we started with the, let's start with our pork chops. So our pork chops, I'm going to explain to you what we did. 
because it's already prepared. KJ, can you lean that forward so they can kind of see yeah, what that looks like? Yeah, so we prepared the pork chops. These are thin cut pork chops and they're usually used for, um, they're usually used for uh, breakfast pork chops, which is exactly what we did here. So if you take a look here, if you take a look here, you will see that beautiful uh, footage there and you'll see that there's pork chops underneath. So I'm just gonna lift that up, just pork chops. But here's what I want y'all to know. Lord have mercy on a made a mess. So the pork chops, once you clean them, yes, we wash our meat in this house, okay? After you wash and clean your meat, you, you take a mixture of ranch dressing, ranch dressing, listen closely. You take two packets of that, two, not four, two. Two packets of the ranch dressing, and you put your parsley, you put your paprika, if that's what you want in there, salt and pepper, if you need that as well, and you stir it together, and then you dredge the pork chops in it, okay? And then you lay your bacon on top of it. Now, our oven is already preheated, and you know in, in most everybody's house, it is preheated to what? Let's say it together. 350. 350. They know, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven because it's already ready to go. Once again, here it is. All right. Oh, Lord, KJ. So, and this is one of the, the, isn't that the cutest little skillet, right? Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and put this in the oven. Mm. Yeah. We're going to put that in the oven. Yes. Let's go ahead. Oh, I'm scared because this is the first time I've used my skillet. And it's, it's you know, I'm, I'm afraid it's that you glass. Know, it's glass. <laughs> Okay, so I'm a little scared. Y'all just pray for me here. All right, so then the next the next thing on the agenda is Lily, if you can do me a favor, turn turn that skillet on. So every yes, so let's talk about the cinnamon rolls. Y'all, let me tell you what I'm gonna get ready to do. I get, I wasn't getting ready to make cinnamon rolls from scratch. No, it's not happening. Let me tell you why. I don't have all day, so it's okay for us to use some of the things that we can get our hands on in the store. That only makes sense. Welcome, welcome, y'all come on in. I see y'all. And so here's the thing. I want you all to know that we are on several different platforms. So when I'm saying welcome, welcome, and you're like, wow, I only see two people. But no, we, we're on several different platforms at, at one time. So that's pretty cool. All right, so what we're gonna do, um, you notice that I have some chopped walnuts here, chopped walnuts right here. And we can certainly see that, okay. All right, yep, covering up the name. But yeah, so we're going to take the chopped walnuts and we're going to put them on top of the cinnamon rolls. All right? Yay. So KJ, if you can do that, Lily, if you can grab the other and let's let's snap some of that, please. All right. We're going to put some of that over top, just a little bit, right? Because then once we put the icing on there, we'll be able to... Um, look at that right there. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cute? All right, so all we're doing is dressing up what is currently being been made for us. Lily has already gone on ahead and she's put the nonstick coat of, um, what was it, the butter spray on the bottom. And guess what we're getting ready to do, folks? We're going to put this in the oven. It ain't hard. Watch this. See how easy that is? Guess what? Isn't that the cutest little, little baked bake pan? We about to find out together. Come on. Here we go. Boop. All right, so Lily says, Mother, we shouldn't have put them all in there. Watch this. How about that? Okay, put that right on up in there. All right, praise the Lord. So we're done. Mm -hmm. Now, um, is there butter in there? Can you put some butter in the skillet? Let's go ahead and put the butter in the skillet. We're going to do that. Y'all, let's talk about um, a couple things that are coming down the pipe. First of all, um, Let's just stand here and enjoy this foolishness called KJ because we we just what stop what are you doing? So okay, so here we are. We are um, getting ready to do the cracked grapes. So we 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 thought that what we would do with the cracked grapes is doing one by one. Anybody got time for that? So let me tell you what we did. We got us a little old bag. Right here. Yep, I said little old bag. We got us a bag and we put the flavors in here. All right. So we have two different types of grapes to make the grape, the crack grapes. I have um, just regular grape grapes, right? And then we have our larger green grapes here. 
And all we did, you want to know the secret to a good cracked grape? All you need is jello. That is all. That's all you need. That's it in the pan. So what you do is you take your grapes right here and you put a little water on them. Great. Okay. So these have already been washed. Put a little water on them. And let me tell you what we're going to do. You need to go dump those wet grapes in that bag that's got the jello in it. And you can use any kind of jello flavor that you want, even if it's vegan. Okay? Because I know some folks who are friends of mine who are vegans. And then, so let me, let me, I don't want to, I don't want to turn the stuff into jello, but we want the flavoring of the jello. Okay. So we dump those in there and guess what we're going to do? We're going to shake it up like it's a bag of chicken. Hello. That's all we're going to do. Easy enough, right? Shake it up. Shake it up. That's it. All you're doing is shaking it up, shaking it up. Boop, boop, boop. Get all that flavor in there. So let me tell you the flavors that we use while we really are shaking it up. Yep. Don't act like y'all don't have no plastic bags. Why did you back away from me? Like I got COVID-19. <laughs> don't do so much. <laughs> See, this is why I can't stand my kids. So here, here's what we do. Um, oh Lord, it's spinning. What are you doing? What's that spinning? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like, okay, so clean as you go, folks. Clean as you go. That's all I got for you. So here's the thing. So you're you're yeah, continue to keep shaking it up. We want to shake it up really, really good and really coat your um, your grapes with the mm -hmm. jello. So we use, what do we use? Lemon lime and, and black cherry? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we use two packages of lemon lime jello and two packages of uh, black cherry because we were gonna do them separate. And then I was like, why, why, why are we trying to make this difficult? We don't need to make this difficult. It needs to be done and we need to be rolling out because I wanna go join my daughter at the store and, and continue to set up for, for fall, right? So we can get those customers in, get them what they want, and keep it moving. Oh, speaking of store, we do have an online one, and it's called mybrownstoneliving.com. You can check it out there. We're going to be adding some of the stuff from the store to the actual website. You can check that out, um, you know, anytime. And don't forget, go ahead and like, comment, and share this particular video. How's it looking? Ooh, baby. Look at right Listen here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Can you see ready? That? Yep. You see that? Those are your crack grapes. All right. So what you want to do with your crack grapes? Oh Lord. Oh, you got some on your cute little pink shirt. Yep. I can't. I, I can't. I All right. It. So here we go, guys. Here's the next step in the crack grapes. You either can line them on a sheet or you can put it in a bowl, just like this. You see? You look at that. Mm, mm, mm. That's it. That's all you gotta do. It look like it kind of look like taki. It, it looks like Takis? No, KJ. That's why the line in your stomach toe up now. No. All right, so of course you're gonna to you're gonna to toss this along with any other trash that you see laying around. So look at this. Here's your crack grapes. Right there. Dun dun dun. Right here. <laughs> Oops. So dun 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 for stage stage right. Right over here. Okay, there you go. So yeah, once this is done to really let this set, folks. You put it either in the refrigerator for several hours or in our case, since we don't have a lot of time, we still have to get to the store. We are going to be putting this in the freezer. So that's where we're headed. Let's, let's pray I got room in this freezer. Okay, I don't know if I want everybody in my freezer now, but we got room right there. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put them right here. All right, so there you go. We're done. All right. Now, the next step is, oh, Lord. Lily, what is this? Is this butter? Yeah, that's a little high, baby. Okay, so we have the skillet preheating so that we can make mm. our scrambled egg. And Lily is cleaning as she goes. We're gonna put the bacon up as well. Y'all see how easy it was to make those pack breaks? Something healthy for the family. You can kind of grab them. You know what, folks? Here's what we're not gonna do. Let me tell you what we're not gonna do. Don't come to this page causing no havoc and no no um no uh no judgments. This is a judgment-free zone. You got something you want to say? 
And, and I say this often during a lot of my live streams and even some of the videos that I do, because I want people to know this is a judgment free zone. What you do in your house is your business. What I do in mine is mine. How about that? So we just killed all of that right there. Welcome to all of our new viewers. Um, go ahead and go ahead and like, comment, and share. This is what I deal with. This boy has no sense whatsoever. So go ahead and put that in the refrigerator for me. Um, let here. So I'm constantly telling them to clean stuff, wipe stuff down. Go ahead and put my coffee stuff up. Um, oh Lord, what is really y'all? Y'all. Well, then, I, I think LG was. No, uh -uh. when y'all wash dishes, you're supposed to wash all the dishes. How about that? Oops, I don't even want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. When it's your turn, check and see. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Okay. All right, let's go. All right, so next thing, next. So um, we're going to make the scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs, y'all. It's stupid, crazy easy. But to my daughter's point, my oldest child, has taught my children here, the babies, how to make creamy scrambled eggs. We're gonna do this really quick. I need a fork or a whisk, okay? So um, the, so this is what happens when you have a lot of stuff. You got everything, but. I do have a whisk, don't do me. No, I, I was talking about this stuff. Here mm. All right. And you know what? Here's something else. I'm not probably purebred. I'm not that organized in my kitchen. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to whisk a couple of eggs. So depending on the size of the party, you are going to, isn't this the cutest look at KJ? Lord have mercy, just dripping and falling. And so we're going to go ahead and whisk our eggs. Depending on the party, you want to go ahead and cut, uh, you know, maybe one or two eggs per person and go ahead and um, whisk your eggs using regular salt and pepper. If you want to do that, that's your business. Right, and I like to use a little Tony Cacheray. I hope I said that right. A touch of seasoning. How about that? Now, since we are going to be adding cheese to that, we don't want it too salty. We don't want a lot of um, seasoning in there. Now, this is what makes it creamy. Here's something I want you all to recognize. You can either use water or you can use milk, whole milk, Honey, you can use almond milk if you want to, right? Up to you, whatever's in there in your refrigerator. But I like to use heavy cream because it adds to a richer flavor. So do we have enough butter in there? Yeah. Okay, so you, you, you line your skillet with butter. I am a proponent of using a cast iron skillet. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my heavy cream and I'm gonna pour it into my bowl. I eye it, okay? You can do it any way you want to. But I like to eye mine, okay? Because yeah. scrambled eggs are supposed to be a little bit creamy. It's not supposed to be hard, unless that's your thing. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people like theirs like that. I don't. I don't get down at all, okay? That's not a thing for me. What about hot sauce on it? Huh? What about hot sauce? Well, I mean, that, if that's your thing, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because Imani, that's her thing. Imani will eat hot sauce. If Imani could pour hot sauce into a glass and drink it, she probably would. Right? Okay. So, we've got our eggs, again, in one of my cute little bowls that I just got. All right. So, um, let's go check. I'm going to take this over here, and let's go check our in our oven. What in the world is she running from? <laughs> Thank you, Victor. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's check what's going on in the oven. Uh oh. Look at them cinnamon rolls. No. Praise the Lord, Saints. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's hot enough, Jesus. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and pour our mixture. And again, it's a real simple mixture. This ain't hard, y'all. Let you be careful. Boom. That's cast iron. KJ, if you don't get some wins. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Hmm. So since it was already preheated with butter in it, Lily, go ahead and drizzle some cheese in there, and I'm going to go ahead and wash this out. Say it's something, cheese, folks. Big Jesus. Oh, Lord, in the star, I 
she, man, she done spilled cheese right there. Wow, why did you spill cheese? Oh my God, you know what? <laughs> You putting cheese on there right now? Yep, cheese. Cheese, glorious cheese. Y'all know I like me some cheese. Praise the Lord, Saints. Okay, can we move? Because y'all just got stuff everywhere. Look at this. That was oh. all big fella. That was big fella? That was okay. Big, that, was, that, okay. that was big fella. All right. <laughs> See, he calls him big fella. I don't, I don't know why. So we have enough <laughs> egg. We have enough cheese in there. And the next thing is, is again, cleaning as you go so that you're, because you can always sweep and mop your floor, right? You want to try to keep it as simple as possible. So what we're going to do is what we always do. We're going to set up for our photo op. So Lily, there you go, ma'am. Boom. Boom. And guess what I'm doing? I'm actually allowing this to cook a little while. One of the things that I can't stand is folks who go to manipulating their dirt eggs right away. That is just so, I don't understand that. I do like, that. what are you doing? Like, I don't understand. And it's, y'all, look at this. Ain't this the cutest little thing? I showed y'all this last week. I love it. It's so cute. So, um, let me get a, Lord have mercy. I, I might have to be like all the purebred and clean my damn floor. Oh, mother? What? Well, you know, we got a lot of stuff. I know, honey. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start moving this manipulating. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Boom. Oh. Yes. 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 Not if I'm singing it. Don't do me. No, mother, that's that's you. What? No, 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 no. I've got so much to thank God for. That's a whole bunch of copyrights. So many wonderful blessings and so. Okay. All right. So can you, yeah, there you go. So you see how simple this is. This is not hard. You don't have to do much. All you have to do is just manipulate the eggs as they cook. Yes. Manipulate them. All I'm doing is going back and forth, back, just back and fall and back and fall. I need a container for these eggs. They're almost done. All right. You need a right container right for the eggs now. Because. She knows what I'm talking about. I need a container. A container. So we're going to turn different. these off because they're done. Okay? You don't want them where they're too dark and people looking at you like, well, girl, what is that? Okay? Uh-uh. No, ma'am. No. What is that? It's a no, I don't want that container. Y'all, show, show the container once again. What did you put it on, baby? Girl, uh-uh. What? No. You okay. <laughs> Here you go. I'm gonna put that there. Look at the eggs. It's all types of protein. Yes, honey. Okay. I'm sure they're tired of looking at eggs, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so scrambled eggs are done. I've already turned it off. Ooh, that's hot, child. So we're gonna take it off of the eye so that it doesn't continue to cook and we wanna get it off of the, um, out of the skillet. So what I'm gonna do is hunt down something to put it in. Alright, so let's do this. Let's just use a regular plate. And we're gonna plate that up. Because again, y'all know me. Check those cinnamon rolls. Go ahead, Lily. Check the cinnamon rolls. Yeah, look at these cinnamon rolls now. Ooh, look at them right now. They look at them rolls. Look at them rolls. They're amazing. No? No. Okay, alright. So what what we're doing is it looks like the cinnamon rolls are about done so we're going to start taking those out here in just a second um i i do not like to put hot items from the oven directly into my um onto um my surfaces in the kitchen 
I don't know why I'm like that. That's why you got the boards like this, hot plates and stuff like that that Big Mama and them used to have. That's why they didn't want to ruin their wood or their granite tops or whatever they had. That's one of the reasons why they did that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this out because Aaliyah is getting ready to take the cinnamon rolls out of the oven. Mm -hmm. I am going to go ahead and plate the eggs. Where? Well, wait a minute. You... Ah. Kevin, what is wrong with you? I just hit my head. Oh my God. <laughs> I hate. I... Didn't I just tell y'all I can't stay at my kids sometimes? Come on, honey. Pull it out. You, you got it, Big Phil. <laughs> Them cinnamon rolls! Yes! Yes. All right, so you see she's putting it directly on the glass container or the glass uh, cutting board. The only reason why, once again, is you want to make sure that you're protecting the surfaces that you work hard for. So make sure that you do that. She's going to go ahead and plate the eggs. And um, I'm going to hold the whole conversation here while she does that because Mr. KJ is on a roll. So thank you, KJ. What did you do today? I cut the grass. You cut the grass this morning? And I did. I, I, I trimmed the hedges in the back. You you trimmed the hedges in the back? Yes, ma'am. You did? I don't know why why they put a house on a hill. That's a so house stupid. on a hill? Because we're a house on a hill in the back. Our backyard has like a hill in the back. That's and KJ... KJ has to go down there and he has to do, use the weed whacker to manually cut some of that down and then use the hedge clippers to cut the hedges in the back. I almost got folded like an omelet. You almost flo you almost folded like a what? An omelet. Okay, bye. I can't. All right, so the next thing is, is we're going to take this cream. Now, guys, if if you, so Lily said, well, mother, all right, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Look at the maid. Lord have mercy. Look at those eggs. Yes. See how simple that was? Amen. So we're just going to put this right here. We're gonna put that right in the front. Hey. Right there. Mom, yes. And then we're going to take, Lily said, Mother, where's the uh, sugar that goes on top of the cinnamon rolls? Cause when we bought the cinnamon uh, rolls today. And I said, well, it's in, the, it's in the thing, but if we didn't have it, then we would just make it. Y'all, it's real easy to make the icing that goes on top of this. And it's really powdered sugar. It's some of the staples that you should really have in your kitchen anyway we're going to talk about that in some future episodes of the sunday brunch because some of y'all walk around here with random noodles and that's the only thing in your <laughs> house and i'm <laughs> they're laughing but that's one of the reasons why i don't get down with all of that right and it's it, some of it is is ramen noodles don't have any real nutritional value unless of course you add stuff to it come on let them see this Jeez. 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 beautiful Ooh. yes Ooh. isn't this beautiful so we just go hold it all again praise the lord Jesus. Jesus. Girl, all right, so we're just pouring this over our cinnamon rolls. I need a whole knife or something. Mother, can they see it? Uh, yeah, I guess they can. <laughs> we're gonna turn the oven up too. So, gonna so what I'm gonna do, because oh Lord, have mercy, y'all. This about to get on down. I can't I need wait to y'all see it. I need y'all to understand that these pork chops get ready to be everything. Baby. <laughs> so I'm going to put it on the bottom so they can finish cooking. Ooh, look. Uh -huh. Look at that. We just got the bacon on top, like I said. So Lily is finishing to put that on there. And then she's going to take the other icing and put that on the top. Don't you just love the commentary? I'm going to um, take some pictures here. And um, again, any of these recipes, folks, I'm going to be sharing those on my personal Instagram. Mm -hmm. And also, yeah, you can get it, KJ. Thank you, honey. So we're going to also put some walnuts. We're going to put some walnuts on the top. So y'all remember when I was talking about those ramen noodles? It's okay to have ramen noodles in your, in your refrigerator or your kitchen or your whatever, but... Um, y'all learn how to cook some other stuff, you yeah. know, <laughs> now I'm being silly, but you know, learn how to pick up some other habits, some other stuff. You know what I'm saying? There's so many different ways to get some different, um, and look at this. He is aiming at the eggs ever so closely. Look at that. I feel like I'm at a golf tournament watching him take pictures of the eggs. So once again, it's your girl Paulette and 
This is What's for Brunch. I am the host of the Sunday Brunch, where you are able to listen to a myriad of jazz and gospel on Sunday afternoons on KCCR Radio, the Brownstone Center. We always like to leave a pre recorded version for you that you will be able to listen to as it renders this evening. And so I will leave that link for you if you are listen if you are inclined to listen to jazz and gospel and an opportunity to hear some of the things that are coming down the pipe for myself and others. Also, don't forget this week we will be bringing another episode of Cullen's Corner. That's going to be a lot of fun. You can definitely check that out at the Brownstone Center and also on our personal pages and also on Twitter and pretty much everywhere else. Because like I said, right now, we are actually broadcasting live. So you can check out Colors Corner. What are our topics? We're going to be talking about Ruth Ginsburg. We're going to be talking about what did 45 really know? We are also going to be discussing love and relationships during COVID-19. And we will also be, what is my son doing? Oh, okay, I see you. I see you, Cletus, I see you, I see you. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, we will also be discussing a myriad of other topics. Who's going to be joining us during Cullen's Corner Hot Topics this week on Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can check us out live. Of course, myself, your girl Paulette. Also, our other air personality host will be joining us, host of Cullen's Corner. And for lovers only, Cullen himself will be joining us. We will also have ear hustling radio host, DiCarlo Collins, that will be joining us. And also... The League and the Happy Hours host, Mr. Belton, L Boogie, will be in the building with us on Wednesday. We will be having those discussions. And we're also going to be having some discussions on some things that are a part of the League, which is also a part of KCC already on the Brownstone Center. And why is that important? Because he's got a topic you do not want to miss that actually I think is coming out today. And let me just pull it up. And it is called, it is the league. The league is, it's all about sports. So if that's your thing, then by all means. But his topic is, are you ready for this, fam? Yep. The myth of Colin Kaepernick. You don't want to miss that because he's got some information you don't want to miss. And um, I cannot wait to see what that sounds like and what that looks like. Now, um, for the Sunday brunch punch, what we did, and as you can see, Lily is behind us and she's doing our uh, quick cleanup because again, we're going to take this and we're headed down to our store. Once again, mybrownstoneliving.com, but we also have Brownstone Essentials and your butter bar that got together and decided, why not? Let's just go ahead and open up a store. Okay. It only makes sense because we were running out of space here at the house, um, overflowing the laundry room and overflowing. Yes. So here's one of our items that, um, was was forgotten to be taken to the store and isn't this the cutest little thing in that cute so we're gonna be taking this down to the store to join its other buddies in that cute okay and um you can check it out or you can order it directly off of um mybrownstoneliving.com why is this important y'all because it costs money to run this daggone thing and to run kccr radio and brownstone center and all that other stuff what if you don't stand up what are you doing Oh my God, what am I going to do with him? So this and other items, of course, are available at the store. And so shout out to all of the people. Yeah, and here's the thing. No, um, we actually physically ship it to y'all. So yeah, so, so, so don't be afraid of that. We physically ship it to you. So go ahead and hit us up. We're going to be putting some items on the store to finish selling to you all. We even have furniture, y'all. So don't even trip on that. If you, if you, oh Lord, what is this on my counter that uh -oh. won't come off? What is this? What is what this? this? What is this? Yeah. No. I was wrong for that one. No. What is was, this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this week's topic, we're going to be covering a couple of other things, but this week's topic on the Sunday brunch was, are you ready? How sweet is your life? Hmm. So we want to talk about that really quick. So I've been going up and down my little old timeline and some of y'all younger than me and some of y'all haven't really experienced some things. And if you have, you think it is the end of the world. So I just wanted to kind of talk about this while the main course is um, continuing to prepare itself. So one of the things that I, I have an absolute 
um, disdain for. And the reason why I have a disdain for it is because that used to be me, okay? And that's the complaining. Listen here. Let me explain something to y'all. Ooh, y'all gonna be mad. The big mama talk. The, I'm having the big mama talk because I, I believe it's about time some of y'all had the big mama talk because somebody had it with me, okay? And 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 some of y'all need the big mama talk, real talk. <laughs> um, one of the things that I am a um, what I what I have a disdain for is I have a disdain for coming on your social media and airing your personal business. Something okay, that's fine. We all do it, right? Some of us anyway. We're going to use small plates today because I'm not washing all the dishes. And y'all know me. I don't, don't like paper plates. I don't like paper plates. My baby brother will tell you paper plates is his thing, not me. I, mm -mm. I like yeah. it. I don't like doing all I don't, the dishes. Mm -mm. I, just don't, I, just, I just don't find that to be a thing, right? Okay, so one of the things that I prefer to talk about today is um, what does it look like when we continue to complain and complain and complain and complain about our personal situations. First of all, stay off Facebook with your personal business like that, crying and complaining. Because I'm going to tell you what's happening behind closed doors, and I learned this the hard way. This was when social media was still so new, and folks didn't know how to screenshot and stuff like that, or at least I thought. You leave yourself open for ridicule. And I understand, sometimes Facebook is used as a portion of therapy for some people. But understand, Facebook, Twitter, all of these other platforms should be used really to kind of help you through some things. If you want to share some of your stuff that you're doing or what you're not doing or whatever. But keep your, keep your low down business off social media like that. Because really what you have become, golly, I feel so bad about this. Folks is laughing at you, girl. Boy, they laughing at y'all. And so... <laughs> And remember Carrie, there was this movie years ago, um, 1977, I think it was, it's called Carrie. And, and, and one of the things I remember is the pig's blood was running past down her body at prom. They said, they're all going to laugh at you. Well, they are. And not only that, honey, they screenshot and they're sharing your little stuff and they telling people and they inboxing each other. Girl, what is she talking about? Why is she always on here exposing her business and so forth and so on and da, 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 this, this, that, and the third. Keep your, listen. If you're having issues, there's a couple things that you absolutely should do. One, ain't nothing wrong with praying. But two, here's the other thing. Keep your circle small with a therapist somewhere in between there. And it's okay if you got to go and talk to somebody. But I'm going to tell you something. Like somebody um, was able to tell me at one time. And see, this is where I start to lose people because I don't, you know, I like to keep it real. And, and my kids will tell you one of the things that I cannot stand is a complainer. Because you don't, you don't, you don't get anything done complaining. You need to have a solution. And, and, and your life is your life. But you have to have a solution whenever it comes to you uh, making decisions about what happens in your life or um, going on Facebook and complaining or going on social media and complaining. Because first of all, um, you know, folks, folks like to have entertainment. Don't be nobody's entertainment. That's first and foremost. OK, the second thing that I want you to remember is, is that you choose the life that you want to live. It is completely up to you. And I can hear some people already saying that's not true. Yes, it is. If you continue to stay in the mess you in, stay on. But don't call me because I have told you to move around. Now, there are some situations, of course, where you are going to have to be strategic, strategic in how you move around. But don't stay. If it's not benefiting you, if it's not serving you, that will help you to live the life that you desire. OK, that's another thing. Something else that you got to look at. KJ, he looking at me like, oh, that's gold because it's real simple. Stop giving people that kind of power over you. It don't even matter what kind of power that you think that you have when somebody else is dictating to you what's coming down the pipe. And that could be something as simple as your job. Somebody, you already know you are powerful in so many different ways. And then you get to work or you get to church or whatever. And they already know where they're going to put you. What? Oh, it's time to move around. That's another thing. But here's the thing. You are in control of your personal life. Stop putting your business out there. Put the business out there of, of, of positivity. Put the business out there of, of things that you are doing to constantly move your life forward. Put your business out there that you want folks to follow and support you on. That's what I would prefer for people to start doing because that's stuff that I do. 
Okay, now every once in a while, I get a little heated and I might post something, but I'm very vague and I've learned how to do that because everybody don't need to be in that portion of your business, right? So I just want you all to kind of remember that this is something for you to be reminded that living the life that you have right now should be good every single day, every day, but it's all in how you decide to live that. It's your choice. You can sit up and be miserable if you want to, but nobody is going to stick around misery too long. I'm telling you, they will move around. Somebody, I had somebody say, oh, well, so-and-so's going to be on the call that I'm good. All right, I'm going to head out. No, because I know what it's going to end up being. It's going to be a, a wine session. And I, I promise you, I don't have no cheese for your wine because I'm dealing with my own stuff. And here's something else I want to put, put on the table too, as part of our conversation, our kitchen conversation. That's what I'm gonna start calling this is kitchen conversation. So here's the thing. One of the other things that I absolutely cannot stand, stop blaming folks who cannot extend themselves to you. Crickets, but that's a thing. Like how dare y'all? That don't make sense to me either. Stop blaming people. Stop being mad. Stop making innuendos and, and, and insinuating things, not innuendos, but insinuating things on social media about folks who you mad at because they couldn't extend themselves. We don't know what other people are going through. We don't know what other people's pocketbooks look like. And that's unfair. The question should be, what do I need to do so I never end up in this situation again? That should be the question. And once you figure that out, reach out to people that's been where you at, like myself and others, and find out what we know so you will never have to be in that situation again. But don't ever, don't ever point the finger at people that didn't put you in the situation that you in. I don't even understand that concept. That's something I didn't do. Okay. But it's a lesson that I learned. You can't blame folks for where you put yourself. You can't do that. You cannot do that. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and take out Arnold Palmer. Okay. I'm done with my rant today. I just had to say that. So I put it in the refrigerator. This is fresh brew tea. This sucker had it too, y'all. Mother, you be careful. Now, do you need some hair? No. I don't need no hair. <laughs> Okay. Lord, help me to hold. Isn't this the cutest? See, y'all don't even be mad that this says what it says. I got this on sale. Oh, that's it. Oh. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I got it on sale. And unless, of course, y'all gonna pay for it, you better be quiet. <laughs> all right, so, but it's cute because it already has the spout on it. So I kind of figure, hey, why not? I'll go ahead and use that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put some ice in the glass. And... We're going to cube it today. And y'all don't forget we have So I'm going to tell y'all what Kate is doing. Kate is filming my entire bag time. Don't you love it? <laughs> my fault. Yeah, sure. All right, so we're going to put our little ice right there. Praise the Lord. Yes. Yes. Isn't that nice? We're going to get some uh, cutlery out so everyone can help themselves. Okay. Two, three, and four for me. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, our fruit. Ooh, look at this, Lord. Ooh. Mm. Is that coming now? Yes. Look at this. Crack grapes, crack grapes, crack grapes, crack grapes. Ooh, ooh, Josephine. Hey, preach girl, come on now. I just had to just break it down. I'm sorry. And I'm sure that I've offended some people. I don't even care. I ain't even messed up about it. We're going to start having some whole kitchen conversations up in here like your big mama used to have with you and told you the truth, even if you didn't like it. Because if the truth hurts, what? Say ouch. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put our crack grapes over here. Mm. And what we are waiting on is for the pork, chops. the pork chops and bacon to go ahead and finish. Okay? Look at that. Mm. I felt that in my I'm spirit, good. Lord. I think it's done. Because if it cooks anymore, Can we see? it's okay, yes. Go ahead. Oh,
copyright. Yeah, look at that right there. That's too, that, that's just too far. All right, so there we have it. All right, that's the brush. And we're going to go ahead and take this out. Yeah, I think that we should start doing that on a regular basis where actually where we're actually having that conversation. Um, because somebody is not talking to these folks. I'm telling you. And and I wish somebody had told me some of the stuff that I learned the hard way, okay, out here in these streets. <laughs> Because I was a whole hot mess and I still have my days. We all do. But we have to learn how to hold ourselves up to a different type of standard. Um, it, girl, let's see, Josephine, what it's going to look like when we done. So I'm getting ready to pull this out. And so let's talk about Gary. You want to talk about Gary? Oh, really no. <laughs> okay, we're going to give it about five more minutes and then we're going to play it up. Gary. So let's talk about Gary. <laughs> Come on, let's talk about Gary. So I have a new boo. His name is Gary. Who is Gary? He's our personal trainer. He's our personal trainer. And Gary whooped me Friday. He wore me out. But here's something else. Here's another gold nugget for you. We are willing to pay to get our nails done, which I don't, okay? We are we are willing to do all kinds of stuff. We, we take care of our hair. We, we, we go to the dentist. We do all this other stuff. I don't like I, what, what, okay, well, KJ, nobody <laughs> told you to come on here with your head looking like that. You got some whole, he got whole creams and stuff, right? Ooh. So, yeah, it's so that, but anyway, so let's talk about this. What? Okay, he's gonna, he's, yes, okay, so he's gonna hide, but he's excited because KJ, KJ has four, I don't even know if there's such a thing, four Z hair, okay, <laughs> as do I. It didn't take me any time. When I first started locking my hair, the first time when I was in my early 20s, it, my hair locked, I know, in three days, okay? <laughs> That's how nappy my hair is. So it was nothing for me to lock. All right, so Gary has taught me a couple of things. And one of the biggest things that he has taught me is that I have to take care of my physical self, all right? In a couple of months, in a couple of weeks, I will be a year older. And I need to really, you know, focus on taking it. Shut up. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I, I, I have made and committed, what, what'd you say? I have made a commitment to take care of myself. Neely. <laughs> what did you say? You're getting on up there. I'm getting on up there. Getting on up there. That's all right. Cause if you keep living, you're going to, you're going to have the same issue and you better pray that you do have the same issue one day. How about that? <laughs> all right. So with that said, Gary has taught me that it's okay to invest in yourself. But here's something I learned, is that if you get a letter of medical necessity from your doctor, you will actually be able to use your health spending account to pay to see your personal trainer, which is what I did. It was awesome. And so we have six months of um, personal training that we are signed up for with Gary and I am ridiculously sore. So I am high, not really high, but I feel better because I took a BC powder. Okay. And, um, I doused it with a Coca-Cola. Yeah. So how about that? But, but having a personal trainer has been, um, an experience and he fussed at me because, um, last week I only went to the gym once. I didn't have time. I didn't, I didn't have time. I honestly am bogged down with other stuff, but I'm gonna find a way. We're gonna find a way. Ooh. Okay. So y'all ready? To, come on. You ready? Let's go mm -hmm. around here. Let's take this, uh, pork chops. So again, what was today's brunch? Really simple. Guys, you don't need a lot. You don't, you don't, you don't. We have pork chops that were drizzled in ranch dressing. And then it was topped with thick cut bacon. On top of that, we have our cinnamon rolls topped with walnuts. We have scrambled eggs Amazing. and we have crack grapes, crack grapes. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start taking this out. And y'all, I'm scared because this is the first time that I've used my, um, my, my glass skillet in the oven. And I was terrified that it wasn't going to make it and I was going to have a hot mess in here. But it looks like it made it. Look at that. Oh, it's a little slippery though, Lord. Oh, hot, you, you, hot, you, you hot, 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 Ooh, there you go. All right. Oh. Y'all, this looks fine. All right, so here we go. Look at that bacon. That's though. it. We got the bacon. We got the pork chops. These are the thin cuts so they don't take long. These are usually used as breakfast pork chops. So here we have our uh, brunch.
much. So KJ, like we always do, go ahead and put that down. We mm. want you to be the first to taste. Mm. I'm going to taste the food. He's getting ready to taste the food, and then we're going to get ready to go. Because we got a whole store that we need to take care of. Where can they find us? Okay. Thank you, Lily. You want to come and tell us, tell them where to find us? Big While I plate this up since you, since you over there being the producer in the background. Come on. All right. So Lily, where can they find us? Sweetie's Flea Market. Sweetie's Flea Market. Located in Hampton, Georgia. Located in Hampton, Georgia. If not, you can find us online at my brownstoneliving.com we're going to be posting our items that we have like i said we have this cute little soap dispenser um that is for sale there and so i'm going to go ahead and hand me a knife so i can cut this pork chop so we're plating up for kj because kj always is our taste tester and then i'm going to package this Ooh, big fella and so with these eggs so we're going to put, so, and, and guys, we, you don't need a lot. If it's five or six of y'all that's eating, you don't need to make 10 pork chops. Come on now. You don't need all that. Just get you five or six pork chops. Really. First of all, it's easier to do. And, and second of all, oh Lord, that's hot. You should have got me a serrated knife. Go ahead and wipe that down because we do have to do a photo when I'm done. So we're just going to give KJ just a little bit. So that he can go ahead and taste that. I'm gonna put some of these cracked grapes on here. Crack grape. Crack grapes. We're gonna use the small ones. Crack grapes are a thing. And then we are going to put one of these. I'm gonna use one of the small cinnamon rolls with the big fella came through. Big That's fella. Big fella. <laughs> See? I didn't but you you can't play a horn either, Lily. KJ. Whoops. Oh, 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 oh. It's just, like you just sit down and you just play, you just blow. And, and, and you, wow. And you know, so he thinks that that's, that's all of that, that, That's not interesting at all. All right. So, KJ, here you go. Oh, Arnold Palmer. That's what we have for today. It's just basically fresh sweet tea, lemon juice, sugar. That's it. That's all you got to do. How is it? You want to you want you want to toast today? This the best one you ever. Oh my God! Did you hear this boy? Oh. I mean the right, other one was let's good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, boom! There you go. Listen here. Mm. Come on, taste. Got eight minutes. We gotta be out. All right, ready? Yeah. Come on. Try some of that. So we just put a little bit on here. Y'all look at that right now. Yeah. Just a little bit. He's going to taste it for us. Let me try this pork you chop. You need to be there. So he's going to try that ranch flavored pork chop with the bacon on top. Mm. <laughs> mm. Look, I'm looking. And so here's the thing. One of the things that I want to be sure that you all also understand while he's eating that is a lot of this is keto, right? So you don't have to eat certain things at brunches if you don't want to. And the reason why I say that is because we're trying to keep our carb intake low while we're doing the workout thing with Gary. So I do a mixture of both, which is where we got the pork chop recipe from. Recipe from. It was I was like, oh, well, why don't we try this? Ain't like that recipe ain't on the bottom. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Don't blow his head up, Josephine. <clears throat> Whatever. Thank you. He already think he fine. That's <clears throat> the Boy, get up out of here. So come on, you're supposed to be tasting. Try the crack grape in the, in the cinnamon roll. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sip some more on this um, Arnold Palmer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Very good? Mm -hmm. All right, so while he's eating that, try the crack grape. Just try one. So again, the recipes for these, this crack grape and all of that, you can either hit replay if you're going to do this on the replay. Let me know that you're watching the replay. He won't stop eating. Oh my God. Man. Can you try the crack grape? Yes, <laughs> you can just pick it up with your hand. What are you doing? Come on. Wow. Always doing something up in this piece. That's okay. Good. So, there we have it. 
here was what we had for brunch today. And um, KJ, if you can get behind there, mm -hmm. since he is super excited, we're gonna get ready and do our last photo. And we're gonna head over to the store. Head on over to the it's the Sunday brunch.com and you will be able to check out where you can find me. Of course, things are constantly changing. There are some links there. You can actually check out KCCR radio directly from it's the Sunday brunch. Now, if you want to hear the uh, actual show, you can check it out on KCCR radio. We're constantly running the replays after I go live. So you'll be able to check that out there. Right now, KCCR is a is a mashup of different songs and stuff, but definitely check it out. Definitely, definitely check it out for sure. And then the other thing that I want you all to do is to check me out at your girl Paulette. That is on Instagram. You can check me out again on uh, the Sunday Brunch and the Brownstone Center on Facebook. Go ahead and like those pages, share them, share this particular one here. And um, oh yes. Oh, I know. I know, Josephine. Don't make me cry here. Don't do that. <laughs> so um, it's been a blessing. We um, have enjoyed spending time with you guys. Go ahead and plug me up before the phone dies because we're actually using a phone on this. And um, guys, it's been real. We are happy to be here with you all on uh, What's for Brunch. And here's something else that I want you to remember. As a part of the Sunday brunch one of the things that i always like to encourage all of our listeners and our followers to do is to what kj uh, rise and shine for your life and that's what we're here to do i will see you all on the next edition of what's for brunch peace